Hello and welcome to Brando Consulting, your fishbowl inventory experts. In this video, we're going to just look at the simple steps of starting the work order. So the first thing we want to look at is the date that we have the manufacture order scheduled to start. No sense in opening a manufacture order that isn't scheduled to start yet. Today is the 17th, so I'm going to select a manufacture order that's scheduled to start today. Then we simply highlight the work order, click start on the right hand side, select the quantity that we want to start. It's a great option. You don't always have to start all of the work order. You can start partial. Uh, you can start part of the work order. And if picking falls into play with your process, we probably want to start the pick simultaneously with this as well. Click the green plus sign to add a supervisor, to assign this work order to a supervisor. Click next, and then print out the pick ticket and the work order traveler. Click finish. Take this pick ticket, or I guess in this case we're looking at a pick report and give it to your people to pick. Notice this has a red square. That's going to be a problem. We're going to have to fix that. And give the work order traveler to the supervisor to uh, begin, begin the assembly process of the work order. All right, let's take care of this red square. We've got an SEA 001 bike horn kit that is supposed to be picked for this work order. Let's see what we have to do to get that. It's an SEA 001, so I'll go to Materials, Inventory, SEA 001. And the problem is we have none in stock anywhere, so that means we have to buy it. Let's go to receiving and see if anything can be received. I'll go to advanced search. I'll type in the part number, SEA001. Click OK. And this tells me we have no open purchase orders for this. So I'm going to go to the purchase order and we'll buy some of these, SEA001, put that on the purchase order, purchase a purchase order. Obviously this will take a lot more time in real life, but uh, we're going to pretend like the vendor is lightning fast and he's already sent it to us. Receive, now we have it in stock. Okay, so if we go back to the manufacturer order, and now we have this work order already started and the start button is grayed out. So if we want to see the pick now, we need to go to the pick screen. That's easy. Click on the link to the pick screen and now we'll see that our, our problem still exists. It's still a red square. Now in this case, we just received it. We know we have it in stock. But as you'll notice, this pick is set up to work in LA. If we go back to the receiving screen, we'll see that we receive this in Salt Lake City. So we need to solve that problem. Let's go to the manufacture order. This manufacture order is ready to be uh, manufactured in Salt Lake City. But when we were playing around earlier, we decided to change the location of the, of the work order to Los Angeles. So that's a problem. We want that to be uh, Salt Lake City. And it's asking us, would you like to update all the picks to the new location group and save? Yep. It's talking about the pick for this work order. Now if we go to the pick, we'll see, voila, green light, we're ready to go. Now we can start the pick and give this pick ticket 
to our pickers. So we've successfully started the work order, created the pick ticket, and the picking has started. Our supervisor has the work order traveler and is ready to record the uh, consumption and the yield and any lot numbers or tracking involved in the work order. Thanks for joining us today with uh, how to start a work order in Fishbowl.